Russ Larson, and something just happened to me this morning that I just had to make this video and share with the rest of you. As I was digging through my sock drawer, trying to find that perfect pair to wear for the day, I seen this little white box in the bottom of the drawer. And I couldn't even remember what it was, but I, I pulled open the box, or lifted it up, and I seen Duckbill Money Clip across the front of it. What this is, it's a money clip that Ken Brown sent to me about a year ago, showing me just one of the items that he does, kind of giving me a sample. And as I open the, the package here to take a look at it, this first thing I seen was this piece of paper fall out. And I set the piece of paper off to the side, and you'll see the Duckbill Money Clip logo. And then I have the Duckbill Money Clip right here in a nice little container with my name engraved in calligraphy across the front of it. So this makes a really nice, unique gift. But what really hit me was this piece of paper that fell out of the container the second I opened it. On the front of it, it says, about your engraving and the guy who did it. And then on the back of it, it has a picture of Ken Brown um, holding his engraver and set up there at his workstation. And then as you unfold it, it tells all about Ken and what he does. So he's created this nice little marketing brochure to fit inside the container to further promote the other items that he offers and gives his client a way to get a hold of him in the future if they want additional items from him. So Ken Brown is, is really great at teaching marketing like this. Little tips like this can really make a big difference in your and business. If you're interested in learning glass engraving or metal engraving techniques with calligraphy, not only can he teach you how to engrave on metal or glass or other items like that in beautiful calligraphy, but he also teaches a lot of marketing techniques. I suggest you take as many of those tips and incorporate them into your own business as you can pick up. Now let's take a look at the little piece of paper I was telling you about, the marketing brochure that he puts inside the money clip. So here's the one side of it. Now we'll go to the back side. Now keep in mind this material is a little bit older. Some of the information may have changed, but the point is is to remember that the marketing of this, it was the, the part that really hit me and really stood out from what just an ordinary money clip might have done.